Well, hello, beautiful souls. It's your girl, Jane, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be a massive haul and... <laughs> Some of y'all gonna be mad at me. Most of them are Middle Eastern fragrances. So if you wanna click off, go ahead, I'm sorry. But if you wanna stick around, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So if you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jeanne, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos from moi. Now let's get into it. Lip combo of the day. I'ma keep it simple, I'ma keep it quick. I'm wearing the NYX Line Loud Lip Liner in the shade Rebel Kind with the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Fuchsia Flex. The girls have been loving this and I have been influenced, okay? That's the lip combo. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I normally go through notes and like kind of do like mini reviews for most of my perfume videos but for this one in particular i'm not gonna do all of that because we're gonna be here all day and i don't want this to be a very long video i kind of want to just get through it i got some stuff to do gotta pick up my daughter from school in about an hour so i want to make this as short and sweet as possible and i want to do minimal editing for this video so we're gonna see if we can do that and baby boy is taking a nap the first fragrance i'm gonna talk to you guys about i have a dedicated review on it's actually for perfumes and i'm just gonna speed through them so if you guys want to see my thoughts go ahead and check that video out it's the forever mood fragrances i have two full bottles on the way i think they should be here today or tomorrow so i have i am her i have hard to get nda and you remind me i'm still on the fence on you remind me but i do have hard to get and nda on the way look i have my full thoughts in that video so i'll leave that linked up in the eye in the sky for you guys to check out so these are my first fragrances from my haul i'm not going to get into notes i'm not going to talk about these in particular because i have a whole video going in depth about these fragrances in particular watch that video after this one next we have vanilla matrimony from chansu i believe that's how you say the the house name this is an indie house and i actually found him on instagram he sent over his discovery set and he has a lot of gourmand fragrances. This one in particular is so delicious. This is a sweet, delicious, decadent vanilla scent. It has this gorgeous warmth to it and on my skin, I get this like butterscotchy type of vibe. It is absolutely incredible. The original Vanilla Matrimony is really nice as well, but this intense one is more intense. So how this one came about is he accidentally put a little bit too much vanilla in his vanilla matrimony and then he just sold it and it went crazy so anytime he drops vanilla matrimony intent it sells out quickly so i actually purchased this his second drop and it sold out again in like 60 seconds or like two minutes or something like that so this is an amazing vanilla fragrance it's a lot of vanilla notes it's like vanilla on top of vanilla on top of vanilla on top of vanilla cake it's just a vanilla lover's dream it's nothing like Mani Kasanad from Navitas it's nothing like that it's literally straight up vanilla there's no spice there's no woods it is just a vanilla with like a butterscotchy tone in my opinion it is so delicious it's so yummy it's going to be perfect layered with other fragrances it's not giving vanilla 28 either it is its own beast and it's straight up for the vanilla lovers it is giving vanilla but with its own complexities but straight up vanilla like if you love vanilla that's what this one is for sure. I definitely want to wear it a little bit more. It just gives me cozy vibes. So I've just been spraying it very delicately on the skin and it just gives me that warm hug vibe. And I've layered this with a couple of other perfumes that I feel like need that vanillic touch like Milano from Fragrance Dubois. Vanilla Matrimony Intense from Chansu. Chansu. And I'm, I'm in love so far. So yeah, I cannot wait to get more from this house. All right, now we're getting into the viral TikTok Middle Eastern fragrances. I have a lot. I have a lot, and that's why I said I'm not going to get into notes and all that good stuff. We're just going to go through these, and I'm just going to tell you what I think about them, how they smell. I'm not really going to get into performance and all that because I haven't given them a chance to really macerate. I'm just going to give you guys kind of like my first impression, and then we'll revisit them maybe in about a couple of months or so, maybe even like in the fall time because some of these are giving like fall winter vibes and not necessarily spring summer. A few of them 
are giving spring summer or you know signature scent vibes a few of them are giving you know let's revisit this later on <laughs> so i'm gonna start off with my paris corner perfumes that i purchased then i'll go over to the ones that i was sent in pr and then i'll go back to latafa that i purchased and then i'll end off the video so i purchased eight perfumes and i was sent four perfumes so yeah that's how we're gonna do that i'm gonna start off with the most viral out of the paris corner perfumes on tiktok that i purchased this is caramel cascade this is said to be a dupe of bianco latte which i've spoken about on my channel before i actually did a tiktok of this haul that i did which is how i was sent pr from the company that i purchased these fragrances from now caramel cascade to me is a sweet warm slightly spicy fragrance it has this very prominent caramel like lactonic vibe to it so it does give Bianco Latte vibes, but to me, it's not as intense as Bianco Latte at this point. So I don't know what this is going to be like in the fall time. I don't know what this is going to be like after this macerates a little bit, but right now it's kind of like if Bianco Latte had like an eau de toilette kind of vibe. So I think this is perfect for the springtime because it's not as lactonic or as spicy as Bianco Latte at this point. If you guys want a comparison video, I could definitely get that out to you guys. But I don't know, you know, right now if I could say it's like a spot on dupe, but it does remind me of Bianco Latte. So if you are looking for a more affordable alternative, I do think that this is a good alternative for that fragrance but i wouldn't say that it's a spot on dupe so this is teskin caramel cascade from paris corner i guess i could have started off with this one this is the original teskin this is supposed to be like their peachy scent and i would definitely say that this is a sweet fruity tea like scent it is absolutely beautiful it has a floral touch to it as well i was actually asked if i could compare this to bright peach from maison alhambra the latafa brand and i filmed a like tiktok vertical video i haven't posted it yet but it is filmed and i will say that there are differences but there are similarities as well this is absolutely beautiful it does remind me of you know those gummy peach rings it's very bright it's very fresh it is floral but it's not overly floral it's very juicy it's fun it's flirty it's so fun i really really enjoy this one this is absolutely beautiful for the springtime it is just gorgeous if you love a very bright fruity juicy peachy fragrance you would absolutely love this I don't get much of that tea note so it's not giving green tea or anything like that it's just very bright and fresh and very fun and it's giving springtime in a bottle so I really really enjoy this and I don't think that these are giving similar vibes at all so it's a completely different vibe between these two so they're not really flankers in my opinion they're completely different scents now going into the third fragrance from the Teskin line this is Teskin marina and this one to me is very very pretty it's a tropical sweet fruity floral fragrance that's pretty much what it is i get a lot of tropical fruits i can't really pinpoint exactly what tropical fruits i get but they're very juicy they're very fruity maybe there is some like passion fruit or like guava or melon or something like that something very juicy fruity absolutely beautiful definitely florals in here definitely something musky a little bit woody i really enjoy this fragrance i think it's going to be perfect for summertime it's really pretty it's just very pretty happy go lucky very easy to wear i feel like anyone would really enjoy this fragrance especially if they're new to perfumes if you like fruity florals if you like really flirty scents you'll really enjoy this i feel like if you don't like peach fragrances you would like this one so it's pretty much one or the other or you would like both of them so i would say if gourmand fragrances aren't your thing if lactonic fragrances aren't your thing i would say you would enjoy one of these if peachy bright juicy fruity fragrances aren't your thing then i think this will be great because this is a little bit more aquatic a little bit more watery this is a little bit more juicy fruity in your face sweet this is a little bit more aquatic watery but still have that sweet juicy fruitiness from fruits it's not as like gourmand sweet if that makes sense when it comes to performance i can't really speak on that for any of these at this point because i haven't worn these to you know talk about performance yet but i know that these you know middle eastern fragrances have to macerate for a little bit because that's what makes these fragrances so affordable they don't really macerate them 
before they ship them out, you kind of macerate them at home. Now, <laughs> let's get into the next fragrance from my initial haul myself. This is Kiss of Pink. This has gone viral on TikTok. They say that this fragrance is supposed to be like the pink drink. Now, for me personally, when I did my first impression, I was immediately reminded of Yara from Latafa, which I own. I love. This gives me Yara vibes, but I can see how it gives like pink drink from Latafa vibes. It is sweet, it's creamy, it's fruity. It has a little bit of a powdery touch to it. I, I really enjoy this fragrance. On the skin, it's very pretty, it's feminine, but it also has this like sexy, like slightly grown woman type of touch to it. I really enjoy this one. This one to me, really surprised me out of the bunch because I didn't know I would like this as much as I do. And I personally prefer this bottle over the Yara bottles. Um, I don't know, the Yara bottles are just very obnoxious to me and this one I can like get with a little bit more. But yeah, this one smells really nice. It is very beautiful. It does just give me like that pink drink type of vibe. I personally love creamy, powdery, like lactonic type of fragrances with that sweetness. I just, I really do, especially if it's paired with free notes, like it gets me every single time. For these fragrances to be like $25, $35, I don't care if these last two hours, they're $25 or $35, like I really don't care. It's fragrances out here that are $100 that are designer fragrances that last four hours and y'all still purchase them, I'm just saying. So. <laughs> That was a little bit of shade, wasn't it? I don't care. Let's get into the next fragrance. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the fragrances that were sent to me in PR. Now, I have not smelled any of these, so these are kinda gonna be like my first impressions. I don't know what to expect at all. I don't know what to expect. I know what one is supposed to be inspired by, but the other three, I have no clue what these are supposed to smell like at all. I saw one fragrance notes for one of them. The other two, I have no clue what to expect. So let's hop right in. I'm gonna just talk about the first one that I kinda already know what to expect. All of these are from Paris Corner as well, so I kinda wanted to get the Paris Corner ones out of the way. This is Cahir Pistachio, and this I know for sure has gone viral. This one and the new lychee one, lychee lychee, has gone viral. And this is said to be like Kaali's um, Young Pistachio Gelato, which I own, and I own the lychee one as well. This one, I will say it reminds me of it, but I get way more pistachio. It's not as spicy, and it's not as gourmand, in my opinion. On paper, let me just spray it on skin. I don't have a scent of the day on today. I don't think I'm gonna make this my scent of the day. I just wanna spray it on skin. Yeah, it's a lot more nutty. It's more sweet on skin, I will say that. It is sweeter on skin. It is a lot, okay, it is sweeter on skin for sure. It is a lot, a lot more nutty. So you definitely get more of that pistachio. It is sweeter. It's not as lactonic, it's not as creamy, but you do get more like, this sweeter, I wanna say like cotton candy-esque type of vibe. So if you did not like Young Pistachio Gelato because it was too boozy or it was too spicy, you will not get that from this fragrance. I will definitely say that. This one's nice. This one is really nice. Wow, I'm surprised. And for this to smell like that, like straight out the gate because I haven't tried this one, that's really good. I can't wait to see how this one macerates over time and how it develops. Okay, all right now. Okay, the second fragrance. This is called December Rose from Paris Corner. And honestly, I was attracted to the bottle. <laughs> it looks so regal and just so expensive. The bottle is very heavy. The cap is very light, just saying. The cap is light, but the bottle is very heavy. It looks very expensive. And Rose is one of my favorite floral notes. I love yellow florals, but Love me a good one. Oh, it has the notes on the back. Okay, I can give y'all some notes. Okay, so the top notes are blueberry and tangerine. Heart notes are rose, geranium, magnolia. Base notes are musk and patchouli. Why does this sound familiar? Blueberry and tangerine. Hmm. This is giving sophisticated. You definitely get the blueberry in the opening. I don't get much tangerine on paper, but you definitely get that blueberry. You definitely get that rose. I would say this is giving a little bit more of a mature vibe. Very sophisticated. This is not something I can see a younger individual wearing. This is something for someone who's a little bit more elegant. This isn't 
something that's very playful. This is a little bit more serious, a little bit more sexy. I personally want to see how this wears on the skin, but this is a little bit more of a serious tone. There's something about this, maybe it's the geranium, that's giving this a little bit more grit. The geranium with the patchouli is giving this more grit. And maybe the musk is a dirty musk as well. There's something very gritty about this fragrance and I'm trying to figure that out. So let's give December Rose a little bit of time to macerate because it's something gritty. I don't know if it's screechy. I don't want to say screechy. But there's something gritty about that one. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll revisit that one. Okay, next we have Noof. Noof. I've seen this bottle. I haven't heard anyone talk about this, but I've seen this bottle. No, I'm lying. I have seen someone talk about this one. Um, I think her name is Lo. I'll leave her channel below. I, be I believe I heard her talk about this fragrance and she piqued my interest and the brand had already sent this to me and I was like, hmm, let me see. Let me see, because I watched one of her other videos and I saw she had a review about this one. And I was like, hmm, let me see, because I haven't smelled this one. And I was like, let me, I don't even know what this is talking about. But this looks very interesting. Oh, it's very woody. It has a fruitiness to it. It's very woody, though. It's giving like cedar wood, maybe oak moss. Very woody, earthy, sweet, juicy. Very sexy. It kind of gives me vibes of like Jardin Exclusive from Mansara or a little bit of like Herba Pura. Like it gets, it's like that juicy fruitiness and then it dries down to that like ambery, slightly woodiness. This is nice. It is a little bit more on the masculine side though. Not super masculine, but it's like, it's like deeper, richer. This is not for the girly girl. No, not for the girly girl. I want to try this out. I might wear this tonight. <laughs> we'll see. Last, but certainly not least, we have Forbidden Sugar. This is the Amir line from Paris Corner. This is an extract de parfum. I have no clue what this is supposed to smell like. I've never even sprayed this. I've ne I haven't seen a review of this one. Let's see. I don't even know what the notes are. Ooh. Okay, so this one is sweet, it's warm, it's giving more of a gourmand touch. I do get some fruitiness. There's definitely some woodiness in there. It smells like maybe even some patchouli. Something, something earthy in here for sure. Maybe it's musk. That opening was very captivating though, I'm not gonna lie. I think I have to let this one macerate too because it's something kind of weird going on. So we're gonna see about this one in a little bit. I think this one, has to chill out a little bit, but Forbidden Sugar, all right now. The one that's impressed me the most though is uh, Cajir Pistachio. That's impressed me the most. Second is Noof. So these last four are actually ones I'm pretty familiar with. So I ran out of test strips and I'm glad I did when I did because <laughs> these are four that I picked up from fragrancebuy.ca and um, these are all from Latafa. So I'm gonna just pick one and go. This one is Yara Tous and this is from Latafa, of course. This is a sweet, tropical, creamy mango scent. I will say that this is heavier on the white florals than I was expecting. Again, I do wanna let this macerate a little bit more because I feel like the coconut, like the lactonic quality is gonna get a little bit more intense, but the white florals are a little bit more intense than I was expecting. And a lot of people were talking about like how intense the mango note was, but I was surprised with how intense the white florals were. So that really kind of took me by surprise because I was expecting kind of like a creamy mango when I kind of got like a creamy white floral with like mango in the background. So this isn't a bad scent. I'm happy to have it. So I have Yara, Yara Moi, and y'all Tous. So I'm cool about that, but this one just wasn't what I was expecting, but it is a nice addition because I don't have like a creamy white floral mango scent and I'm happy to have it because I was this close from getting Tiger Lily from Flower Bomb because I love me some Flower Bomb. If that's gifted to me, cool, but like now I feel like I don't have to go out and get it, if that makes sense. And I think this kind of, you know, makes me feel good to have the trilogy of Yars. Next, we have one that is just so hard for me to pronounce and I'm so happy to one of my supporters who just keeps 
trying to tell me how to pronounce this one. This is Tyriac, 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 Tyriac <laughs> from Latafa. Everyone talks about this one. This one is crazy viral. I think Yara Toos was as well on TikTok, but this one has taken YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok by storm. Let me tell you this. I love it. I love it. This is a sweet, leathery, fruity, woody, delicious fragrance. I mainly get the caramel. I get a little bit of this like fruity aspect. It's just, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a smooth, it's not even leathery to me. It's more of like a cashmerean. Like it's very smooth and well-rounded. On initial spray, like when I first got it, I was immediately reminded of LaBelle, but LaBelle has that intense, pair with that vetiver and that to me just didn't work I, I believe there's vetiver in here as well is there vetiver i don't know but it it gives me labelle vibes but it's so much more smooth like it's so much more smooth and it just gives me so much more life like i had labelle i owned labelle and i had to declutter it because it just every time i wore it it just gave me like it gave me life because of that pair but then after like the pear died down and that vetiver started to come through it just it just ruined it for me this one is kind of what i wanted labelle to be i really like this i'm so happy i have it because i've been going for this i've gotten so many compliments on it my wife even likes it and she's very picky when it comes to fragrances i should probably do a video about the fragrances my wife likes on me because she's kind of like the gordon ramsay of fragrances like she's very picky and she will tell me real quick that something stinks and she does not care. <laughs> she does not care about my feelings. She doesn't even like Jolene Exclusive and that's my favorite fragrance. She did not like the way I smelled on, my, on our wedding day and that kind of hurt my feelings, but I liked it so I wore it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this one is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like the bottle looks more expensive than it is. The fragrance smells more expensive than what it is and I'm here for it. So Tyriac, Tyriac. 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 My favorite perfumer of all time created it and I love it. Next we have Ajwad Peak to Pink. This one is one that I'm on the fence about. <laughs> I loved it when I first smelled it because of that like grapefruit guava-esque you know opening but when it dries down I just can't. It's a fruity citrusy sweet floral woody fragrance it just something about it it's just something about it that just doesn't sit well with me i don't know i don't know what it is i have to figure it out it, i have to do an investigation on why ajwa pink to pink is not working for me i have to figure it out or it's it's gonna bother me it's gonna bother me but there's something about this one that's just not giving it to me i don't know but we have to figure it out and i'm gonna let you guys know about this investigation because i don't know I don't know guys, I have to figure it out. We are kind of beefing right now. All right, last but certainly not least, from this haul, we have La African Drummer from Latafa. This one has been probably the most pleasant surprise out of this entire haul because I did not think that I would love this fragrance as much as I do. This fragrance is just absolutely stunning. It's a creamy, musky, white floral fragrance that has a little bit of sweetness to it it is just so grown and sexy i am just i'm so here for it someone said that this is supposed to be a dupe for um dolce and gabbana the only one in tint uh, i can i can see that but i can't i can but i can't because maybe if it macerates a little longer but to me this is this is in a it's something else like I just love that coconut like that coconut is more intense for me I've had the only one intense for so long maybe that one has macerated into another beast but like this one oh. <laughs> this one right here is crazy if you need a spring summer scent if you need a signature scent this one right here is nuts like I am crazy in love with this one this is probably gonna be in like my best discovery video of 2024 at the end of the year because wow this one i don't even know like why it's blowing my mind so much but it is and like i'm normally not a white floral like lover like this but this one is just doing it for me it's doing it. 
is doing it for me and I'm loving it. Like I am loving it. Like if it's the vibe, like this vibe is this. This vibe is this. And I need y'all to check this one out for it to be like 25 bucks. I got this for like 20 or $25 from Fragrance Buy. You need this. This will be fire with the um, clean classic apple blossom. <gasps> that green apple note with that freshness. <gasps> that will be fire. Ooh. Oh, that will be really good. I gotta find some combos for this. These are my top four from this haul, okay? Top four from this haul, in my opinion, okay? There are some bangers in here, okay? But these are the winners. I do think Noof is good too. I think Tiskeem Marina is good. But these, personally, are the bangers. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video because I had so much fun making it. If you are new to my channel, I do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot. And for today's video, Go ahead and leave me the money bag emoji. Okay, leave me the money bag emoji because your girl, well, I didn't really spend that much because these Middle Eastern fragrances are pretty affordable. <laughs> so go ahead and leave me the money bag emoji so I know you guys made it into the end. Let me know if you like this haul or not. Let's just chat in the comments. Leave me your scent of the day if you haven't already, please. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you all in the next one.